Hey. Monsters from every state, part one, California. If you scare easily, click off right now. They're called Dark Watchers, and the faces of these so-called Dark Watchers have never been seen, and they never make a sound. Witnesses describe dark silhouettes up to 15 feet tall, walking in the twilight. So I'm sitting here making a bonfire. I know y'all see that thing above the fire. This isn't a filter, I promise. I really don't know what that is. Not on my hand. Can someone explain this to me? This is the back of my iPhone. What the heck is that thing? I'm really confused. I don't know what that is. Uh. I don't see it in real life, I just see it on my phone. I'm really creeped out, I think. So horrifying things are happening across Canada and especially in Vancouver right now. And it is freaking terrifying, you guys. Recently up in Kelowna, there was a group of teenagers enjoying a bonfire when a couple came across them, got into an altercation with one of them and decided they were gonna pull out their own knives and just start stabbing the group. He also had a man go crazy in Vancouver and stab multiple people outside of a library. He stabbed a woman in the face multiple times. She died from her injuries. Another one was just a woman walking with her daughter, stabbed the mother in front of her own child. Let's not forget the men who are dressing up as RCMP officers, pulling people over on long stretches of highway that don't have phone service for who knows what the fuck they're doing. I don't know if it's the same people or not, but somebody was also going around dressing up as an RCMP officer, entered a woman's home and murdered her. A man went on a shooting spree, shot up an Asian nail salon, and the media chalked it up to he was having a bad day. Don't let the media and the government fool you. Canada's a right fucking mess right now. You're not gonna get new love. The same card came out. And it's all about Okay, child. Which fit one. So let me let me tell you guys what I see in email. You send me that. Is Selena gonna get new love? The same card came out. Have you heard about the old hag syndrome? Old hag syndrome is a form of sleep paralysis where you wake up and you see an old witch looking hag sitting on your chest suffocating you. This is a depiction of what one might see when they have old hag syndrome. There's the person sleeping and there's the hag sitting on them. Many people experience this phenomenon and it makes you wonder, is it really just sleep paralysis or is there something more to it? It's even been depicted in Victorian artwork. My mom experienced the old hag one time. She fell asleep on the sofa she woke up and she couldn't breathe. She felt like there was a weight on her and when she opened her eyes, she saw an old hag sitting on her. It lasted for a few seconds and then the hag was gone. However, her dogs were barking non-stop. Books have been written about this and movies have been made about this phenomenon as well. So what do y'all think? Do you think this is really just a form of sleep paralysis or do you think it's an entity that visits people in their sleep? With a drone, a white and grayish figure is then spotted within the surrounding area. The owner of the drone, seemingly curious to this discovery, decided to look at what he found at a different angle. Here, the chilling view of what appeared to be a woman in a dress comes into the scene. There is no official documentation to the incident, unfortunately, but her presence was indeed quite peculiar. For one thing, sightings of the world-famous black-eyed children were also reported in the area, and the site was also where three young girls were brutally murdered in the 1960s. Is this woman related to such a long-forgotten grisly incident? What is she trying to do in these woodlands? Regardless of motive, the presence of a human-like figure on an otherwise unpopulated area brings up more eerie questions than sensible answers. 
Dark Last Photos of Celebrities, part one. First, we have Alan Rickman, the man who impacted the lives of so many people through the Harry Potter franchise. I don't think anyone else could nail Severus Snape the way that he did. This was the last picture taken of him before he lost his battle with cancer. It was a year in between the time that he knew he was going to die from the terrible disease and when it actually took his life. The entire time he didn't tell anyone but the people close to him. Next on the list, we have Christopher McCandles. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the movie Into the Wild, but it was about the adventures of this man. Christopher McCandles wanted to get away from society and live off the land, but he didn't really do what he needed to in order to make it out in the wild. He was found dead and it's suspected that he starved to death. He might have eaten something toxic in an attempt to survive and this caused him to become dehydrated and too weak to move. When his body was found there was a camera on him and the picture we just showed you was undeveloped in the camera. Alright guys that's all we have for you today make sure you like and subscribe. Visit the only legally haunted house in America with me. Helen Ackley lived in this house for over 20 years. She reported that several poltergeists lived in the house. When she decided to sell the house, she failed to disclose the home's history. In 1991, the New York Supreme Court declared that this Victorian mansion was haunted. The happiest place on earth is haunted with ghosts. Today we're going to be talking about the creepy stories and legends of Disneyland. According to many Disney employees who have worked on the ride It's a Small World claim that the dolls come to life. Employees have reported hearing the dolls laughing and moving into different places. In fact, some employees have claimed that the doll's hair actually grows. Disney's Haunted Mansion is more haunted than you think. Turns out a lot of people go and spread their loved one's ashes there. Employees claim that there are over 999 ghosts. Flip that number over and what do you get? You get the number 666, the devil's number. The actual number of people who have died on rides is unknown. This is mostly due to Disney paying them large sums of money to keep them quiet. According to Disney, it's for the safety and out of respect for the victims' families, but in reality, it's just to not scare people out of the park. Some skeletons in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride are actually real. These are skeletons that came from the UCLA Medical Center. There exists a world that you can only reach between 3.30 and 3.33 a.m. Before you travel, I must advise you of a few rules. Rule number one, no matter how lovely they are, do not pick the flowers. If you do, you'll never get rid of them. Rule number two, if you see a tall man with no face, just keep walking. Whatever you do, don't stop to look at him. Rule number three, if someone offers you tea, politely decline and keep walking. If they follow you, run. Anything is better than drinking the tea. And rule number four, the most important of them all, wear a watch at all times. Time is weird there, and if you don't have a clock on you, time will warp into nothingness and you won't know when to leave. That's all. Safe travels. paintings with disturbing backstories. Let's talk about the extremely haunted painting called The Hands Resist Him. So this painting was created by an artist named Bill Stoneham in 1972. In 2000, it appeared on eBay by someone trying to get rid of it, claiming it was haunted. According to the seller, their daughter said the boy and the doll in the picture would fight each other at night. They ended up setting a motion sensing camera for three nights monitoring the painting. And it captured the boy leaving the frame. Some people that have seen the painting have said it has made them feel ill or dizzy. Other people say the painting haunts them in their dreams. Needless to say, this is a very creepy and haunted painting that no one wants to own. Like and follow for more videos like this. This is no ordinary picture, so take a really good look at this. Seconds, all right, cool. Hi, my name is Stephanie, and if you like focal or paranormal or arms on cases or anything strange around that realm, you've come to the right place. All right, so this is Amy. She is a former cast member of Ghost Hunters, and this is what she had to say about that photo. 28 years ago, I took this photo. It had been lost for probably the last decade or so, but we finally just found it in an old album stashed away in my mother's house. It had clearly been damaged over time. The girl in the photo is my little sister. I was playing with the camera and making her pose, but there's someone on the porch and that person wasn't there when I took that picture. They aren't even casting a shadow. 
My mother took this to our photographer neighbor at the time who had completely was dumbfounded by this photo because he because before we moved into this house, the old woman who lived there had passed away. Every day when her husband went to work or ran errands, she would diligently wait for him on the porch right where this figure is. Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Part 24. There's been multiple cases of people actually being eaten alive by an escalator. If you like to eat cereal, there's a 21 to 38% chance that you're also eating an acaris mite. Supposedly, if you have sanpaku eyes, meaning that there's white below your iris, it actually means that you're supposed to die young. Every time you feel very aggressive, your brain is set to kill for a few seconds. So in that one second, you could kill a human being. When getting laser eye surgery, you can actually smell the parts of your eyes being shaved down by the lasers. If you're a male, after you die, your loved ones can have a doctor electrocute your prostate, forcing you to ejaculate for your sperm. Female dragonflies often fake their own death to prevent rape. If you ever get burned by electricity, it will leave burn marks shaped like lightning on your skin. Many pets actually die because their owner dies unexpectedly and nobody comes in to check in on them in time. Did you know that someone actually tried to claim full responsibility for the Great Fire of London? Even at the time, most people had considered it an act of God or sheer bad luck that had caused a small bakery fire in 1666 to end up becoming a raging inferno that engulfed most of London for four full days. This man right here is Robert Hubert. He's a watchmaker from France and he claimed to be responsible for the Fire of London. However, his story wasn't very convincing because he originally claimed that he started the fire in Westminster, an area of London which the fire never reached. When he found out it was actually in a bakery, he claimed that he threw a crude fire grenade through the bakery window. The bakery didn't have any windows. The authorities knew that he was either mentally ill, lying, or under extreme coercion, but there wasn't really a precedent for denying full confessions and the crowd needed a scapegoat. So he was tried and hanged. But hell is a place where people will literally burn in the fiery pits of hell. So interesting fact, hell's not real. I'm not even shitting you. I'm, I'm not talking about within, if you believe in God and hell is real. No, I'm talking about within your religion. Hell isn't real. It was made up by the Christians and Catholics. If you go look at Jewish texts, not a damn thing exists under the name of hell. There isn't even a Satan. In fact, what they refer to as the Satan actually means the adversary in ancient biblical texts. Biblical, I'm saying that as if the Bible is actually original. It's not! But y'all sitting here fucking on the toast of somebody third grade dick going, I got first grade information. But hey, that's just the demon in your pocket.